It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of the Science Bowl. The two teams here today have won once already and today's winner moves on to the middle school semifinals. We have three identified, two identified schools already. This will be the third and we will have one more before we move on to determine this year's county champ. Let's meet today's two outstanding middle schools. First, from Kettering, say hello to Abner. Hey Abner, good to have you here. They're wearing matching t-shirts there. Allison is here. Hey Allison, nice to have you back. And Tafumi, nice to have you part of the team. And you got a little, you got a little mascot out there too who's gonna be helping you along today. Let's go to Martin Luther King. The competitors today, Anvi is back. Hey, Anvi, Maria is here and Juni is here as well. They are ready and raring to go. All right, here on the Science Bowl, we have six categories of questions. Let's share those with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, our board, uh, our board, we have our questions. Easy ones on the left worth five and 10 points. Tougher ones worth 15, 20, and 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. We have no penalties for incorrect answers. And yet, to the two rounds today, we will have our third semifinalist in the middle school competition. And this, our 38th year of competition in the Prince George's County Public Schools. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to that red team. Allison, would you draw your buzzer? It looks and sounds A-OK -okay to me. Uh, Maria, how about the green team? Also seems ready and raring to go. Congratulations, guys, on making it to this part in our competition. Let's have a great game. We go alphabetically K before M, so Allison and the red team, let's play this bowl. Green things five. Green things for five points. If you're the president of your class or the head of a big business, you might be called the top one of these fruits. America's most popular, it's full of potassium. You are the top what, Martin Luther King? Banana. You're the top <laughs> banana, yeah. All right, go green. Body systems for 20. Body for 20 points. The gluteus maximus, the diaphragm, and the latissimus dorsi are some of the largest of these in your body. Muscles. Martin Luther King. Muscles. Those are all muscles, absolutely right, yes indeed. All right, green again. Body systems for 15. Body for 15 points. There's some spelling involved here on my part. While a carpel, spelled C-A-R-P-E-L, is part of a plant, a carpel, spelled C-A-R-P-A-L, is a bone found where in your body? Where is the carpal bone kettering? Passing the answer to Tafumi. I think it's in your legs. In your? Legs. Not in your legs, no. Uh, Martin Luther King, can you tell me where your carpal bones are? Your wrists. Your wrist, yes. You've maybe heard of the carpal tunnel syndrome. The carpal tunnel is in your wrist here. You know, oftentimes repetitive motion uh, causes problems with that. Good comeback. Go again, green. Um, let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. The question, teams, is as follows. Uh, it's a multiple choice question. Is F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration, is that a theory, a formula, or? Formula, formula, final answer. It is a formula, yes. It is not either a theory or a reaction. You got that right away. Good. All right, red. Let's turn that light out on the red team. 
and give them a chance to pick again. Yeah. Go, Allison. Zooparade 10. Zooparade, 10 points. There's a new TV series based on the books about these two amphibian friends. Animals often confused with each other. Toad. Frog. Martin Luther King. Frog and Toad. Frog and Toad, absolutely. One with the smooth skin and the one with the bumpy, warty skin. That's it. They're a couple of characters, aren't they? All right, go green. Dateline Science for 15. Dateline for 15 points, multiple choice question. Listen carefully. Lots of big words here. A female crocodile in Central America who's been by herself for 16 years, yet she was able to lay viable eggs. It's an illustration of which the, what procedure, common among reptiles and birds, where no male is needed for reproduction. Here, I was going to give you some choices. What do you want to tell me? Um, asexual reproduction fellowship. Mm, it's not asexual reproduction. The choice is here. The no male needed for reproduction, is it called parthenogenesis, spontaneous generation, or estivation? Estivation, because like, that's women, right? Estivation? Actually, it was the first oh. one, parthenogenesis, parthenogenesis, which is a kind of asexual reproduction. But again, I told you it was a multiple choice question. Good try, Abner, go green. 100 um, to 70, close game. Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Many of you will recognize in the picture coming up the Pentagon, which is just across the bridge from the White House. There is none of this kind of M-initialed metamorphic rock in this Pentagon building. Um, Martin Luther King. What's got? Do you have any? All right. Let me repeat the question for Kettering. Uh, there is none of this M initial kind of metamorphic rock in DC's Pentagon building. Since when it was being built during World War II, our Italian enemies controlled all access to it. This beautiful rock, what, that beautiful rock, was once sedimentary rock, limestone. Limestone metamorphosed into what? Marble. Marble is right. Yes, ma'am. Good answer. Good comeback. Go red. Almost a tie score, 90 Green Kettering, things. 100 Martin Luther King. Allison, you pick. Things 10. Green things 10 points. This E initial subject is the so-called so green science, the study of our surroundings. Ecology. Kettering. Ecology. Ecology is correct. Yes, ma'am. Good. All right. We're at 100 all. Go red. Zoo parade five. Zoo parade for five points. Visual question, look at the monitor, please, in the studio. Scientists have discovered a two-foot-long museum specimen of one of these G-initialed lizards. Yes, Gil Maria. Gila monster? Not a Gila monster, good try, good try. They've discovered a two-foot-long, Kettering, museum specimen of one of these G-initialed lizards, which is far larger than the ones that run up the walls with their sticky feet, and the one that's on TV, a spokesperson for a local insurance company. A gecko. A gecko is right, absolutely right. And that buzzer says, well, if you come to the end of the first round, look at that score, 105 to 100. We'll be back with the second half of this very competitive game in just a moment. And welcome back to the Science Bowl. Lots of questions to be asked few personal ones. If you've not seen these outstanding young people the first time they were on our program, let's introduce them to you right now. Let's go to Kettering and Allison, tell us about your school. Some of the VIPs there other than you, uh, your principal and maybe your coach. Tell us who they are. So um, our coach is, oh. go ahead. Our coach is Mr. Henda. Um, he's one of our science teachers for the honors program. He's a wonderful teacher. He's very interactive with his students and loves doing hands-on activities. Miss Struther, she loves, loves, loves um, putting focus on her students. She's always there to represent them. She's always there to make sure their voice is heard. And she's always there to make sure that we have what we want and need to succeed. Wow, what's some, it's beautiful what you said there, you know, and the fact that she loved, you can tell your emotions are genuine, and boy, you're lucky to have a principal and a coach just like that. Allison, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you want to do one day? Um, I haven't really thought about it. There are many choices, but mm -hmm. I think I have enough time to think about it. One of my, I have a few options. Um, I wanted to be a pediatrician, 
a board certified behavior analyst or a lawyer. Wow, you have some great choices there and hopefully you'll get to do some of each of those things because you know all of us have multiple talents and hopefully we'll find something in our life that we do and we're surprised people pay us to do it because we enjoy it and we have a passion for it. Nice to have you here today. Any alternates on your team? I know Tafunmi was an alternate. Who's the, who are the alternates now? We have Marquia, Teresa, and Kalia. Wonderful. They'll be out for some FaceTime in just a few moments. Uh, Avner, nice to have you. You're a sixth grader. You must have really wowed everybody to get on this team here. How do you know so much science? My brothers teach me, and at a young age, my mom made me study a lot, and uh, I just learned pretty fast. So it's in the family. It's in the family, yeah. There's a certain discipline required, and uh, there's a standard that you're all trying to reach, and you know, you have done that at a very young age here. Uh, and you're still, you're an animator, right? You like to draw? Yeah, I can see you doing something. Work for Disney or Pixar one day, you know, and make some big bucks and let us see some, some great animated movies. I, I like, uh, uh, what did what I like? Uh, the uh, um, Little Mermaid, where they had a live action one, but the first one was just amazing. Tafunmi, nice to have you here. Nice to have you on the program. Tell me about yourself. What are you hoping to do one day? Um, uh, I would like to be a chemist one day. I mean, I've always loved mixing around with all kinds of stuff around the house. Like, yeah. one time yeah. I tried and to And that's the temptation as a child, and, you know, that's why uh, we adults put little stickers on things to warn you, the Mr. Yuck symbols. But I hope yeah. you uh, take precautions. You know, yeah, you my your dad eyes and my and mom, you're, uh, I've always been you know, there. You're not mixing things that are going to be um, too dangerous. I, yeah. I can tell you're that kind of young man. What do you do in your spare time? Sometimes I play video games, or if I don't, just really bored, I just go to sleep and like wake up at a later time. Wonderful. Why do you want to be on the show? I want to be on the show because like I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube. It's like I can do this. Yeah, this 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 could be fun. Yeah. So just if I can do that, and here you yeah. are, and you're doing it. Yeah, nice to have you here today. All right, Martin Luther King. Uh, Maria, tell us about that wonderful school. Many <laughs> past county championships. So our principal is Ms. Robin Prince, and we are coached by Ms. Butler. Yes. Yeah, we <laughs> like to do science. We study it a lot. She's a great role model. You know, just the way she approaches her profession, and she has pride in being a, a, a teacher. She has pride in you guys, and it shows all these years. And it's, uh, um, and I know your principal also has that same pride, just as at Kettering, you know, the principal and the teacher there. Uh, that makes all the difference. We can't do this show without administrators and with, uh, with great teachers. Uh, and before I leave you, tell us a little bit about what you want to do someday. I want to go into orthodontics and like the teeth. Yeah. I think did everyone you, should Did smile. you have an orthodontist who really made an impression on you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they made it more nice to smile. Exactly, did a great job and you can show everybody he or she did a nice job. And I should mention to everybody, uh, uh, Maria's brother, uh, uh, Mark, uh, excuse me, who was your brother? Martin. Yes, was on our show for many, many years and uh, um, so I'm in the county spelling bee as well and what a great family tradition. It's nice to have you here, his sister. You're doing a nice job. Anvi, nice to have you with us today. Uh, Anvi, did you have any alternates on your team? No. No alternates, have. okay. And you told me last time, what did you want to do? I want to go into the medical field and become a pediatrician. Pediatrician, yeah. Do you have younger brothers and sisters at home? No, but I have an older cousin. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you have younger ones, you can kind of practice on them a little bit. You want to go to Johns Hopkins up in Baltimore. Yeah. And I like, uh, like I said, I can see your determination. I can just see you being very successful. Um, you're doing a nice job here today, too. Juni, nice to have you with us today, young man who has lots of energy over there. I know you're having a good time here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you've looked, at, you've looked to do this for a long time, I understand. Yes. Yeah, it's been on your bucket list, huh? Mm -hmm. In your very young life, you had the bucket list. In your, so here you are. Is this sort of what you expected? Uh, not really. <laughs> no? What did no. you expect? I expected... Uh, I don't know. You don't I don't know what you expect. I expect that I don't know if it, it was a surprise for me. I, I didn't know what to expect. Sometimes when you watch on TV, this room looks huge, mm -hmm. and then you get here and it's like this is this is it. You know, it's like when you go to the White House and you go and you think this is it. The rooms are kind of small there. Uh, size uh, notwithstanding, I hope you're you're going to enjoy the rest of the game. Let's get back into it. 100 points for King. 105 for Kettering. Last correct answer came from the red team. So Allison, let's start us out again. Body systems 10. Body systems 10 points. The tympanum of a grasshopper 
is the insect world's equivalent of which of our sense organs? Kettering. I'll pass the answer to Abner. Abner? Um, I think it's a uh, vocal cords. Okay, don't ring in unless you have an idea. Martin Luther King, the tympanum of a grasshopper, is the insect world's equivalent of which of our sense organs? I think ear. Ear? The ear, yeah, because there's a timpani. You know, it's the same thing, a drum, like your eardrum. That was the clue there. All right, you've got a five-point lead. Go King. Body systems for 25. Body systems 25. Former basketball superstar Kareem Abdul-Jabbar appears on television as someone suffering from atrial fibrillation, AFib. And he warns viewers that the condition can lead to having one of these events occur where a blood clot lodges in a blood vessel in the brain. What is that incident called? Is Martin Luther King for 25 points. A stroke? Yes, ma'am. You got 25. Let's go. Uh, let's get physical for five. Physical for five points. Question. This metal, an alloy of iron and carbon, is the source of the name of Pittsburgh's NFL team. Martin Luther King. Steel? Steel. Steel, yeah, that's the alloy, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Go. Green. Um, let's get physical for ten. Physical, ten points. Here's your question. Since our moon rotates on its axis at the same rate that it revolves around the Earth, we only see one side of it called the near side, which is the opposite of what side that's invisible to us, Kettering? Far side. Passing answer to Avner. Yeah? Far side. The far side, absolutely right. Yeah, just the opposite. Go, red. Zoo Parade 20. Zoo Parade 20 points. Question is as follows. Panamanian golden frogs are a threatened species because a fungus damages their skin, making it impossible for them to do what? Which can occur through the skin in an amphibian. Kettering. Breathe, final answer. Say it again. Breathe. Breathe, that's right. They can breathe through their skin. Respiration. Good answer. You got yourself 20 points. Five points off the lead. Go, Allison. Five points. Body systems, five. Body systems for five points, which would tie it. If someone tells you tonight, you just want a million dollars, you might respond, yeah, you're just pulling my what? Kettering. Tail, final answer. No, you're just pulling my what? You're not believing them. Yeah. No. Yeah. Leg, you're leg. pulling my leg. It's a phrase that people say. It's just a meaning it is not serious. Try again, red. Green things, 15. Green things, 15 points. Multiple choice. Plants that can withstand very dry conditions like cactus are known as which of the following? Big words, listen to the prefixes. Zero fights, halo fights, or bryophytes. Okay. Martin Luther King. Halo fights. Say it again. Halo fights. Not halo fights, no, zero fights. Halo fights or bryophytes are plants like cactus that can withstand very dry conditions. Kettering. Zero fights? Fine. Zero fights, yes. X E R O. Zero phytic plants. Exactly right. Good. Go. 15 more. Zoo parade. 15. Four for 15. Zoo for 15. Moray eels are uniquely able to generate electricity to stun prey and to fend off predators. The alternating current they produce can be as high as 650 of these units. Martin Luther King. Oh, volts. What do you want? Kill volts. Volts. Volts is correct. Yes, indeed. Good. Seems a little unsure of that one. Good. Go. You have a five-point lead now. King. Um, science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Question. Multiple choice. Identical twins are known as which of the following? Paternal. Fraternal. Kettering. Identical. No, no, no. I mean, that's I'm not what I asked. Let me go to Martin Luther King. Identical twins are known as which of the following? Paternal, fraternal, or conjoined? They are the first paternal. Paternal. Paternal is correct. Yes, indeed. Good. Go green. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Dr. Seuss's Ooblek. 
the starch and water mixture that's a non-Newtonian fluid, is similar to this mixture of sediment and water that in the movies famously traps people who slowly sink into it. Quicksand. 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 You got it. Yes, indeed. Go red. Science Potpourri 5. Science Potpourri for five points. The Greek goddess of the rainbow is also the name of this colored... Iris. Iris, yeah, the colored part of your eye has that same name. Nicely done, Allison. Go. Let's get physical 15. Physical for 15 points. Another multiple choice question. If you were using an anemometer, anemometer, would you be measuring relative humidity, air pressure, or wind speed? Martin Luther King. Wind speed. Wind speed is correct. Yes, indeed. Good. Green. Um, You're up by five points. Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. Because he used them in his genetics experiments, Thomas Hunt Morgan is known as the lord of these kinds of flies that can be used. Yes, Martin Luther King. Tsetse flies. Not tsetse flies. Good try. Because he used them in his genetics experiments, Thomas Hunt Morgan is known as the lord of these kinds of flies that can usually be found around your kitchen. Fruit flies. Fruit flies. Fruit flies. Yes, indeed. Good. Good comeback. Go red. We have to go for the big one. Green Things 25. Green Things 25. We have a tie score, 180. All this is Green Things 25. Big question. When you deadhead a plant that's growing in a pot or in your backyard, what is it that you do? Oh, Martin you Luther King. You cut off its, its bud or flower. or flower. You cut off the flower. Absolutely right. The one that's expired will cause it will inspire the plant to produce new flowers. Good. Go green. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Here's a quote. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. So said this scientist, whose observation of a falling apple. Newton. Newton Isaac is Isaac right. Newton. Yes, good. Green. Uh, science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for? Fif 15. 15 points. If stomach acid bubbles up through your stomach's cardiac sphincter, you feel like this body organ is on fire. Stomach. Kettering? Stomach. Stomach. Not your stomach, no. If stomach acid bubbles up through your stomach's cardiac sphincter, you will feel like this body organ is on fire. Your, your heart? Your heart. That's heartburn. That's heartburn. Yes, it is. Good. Good answer. Nice try, Abner. Go green. Let's get physical for 20. Physical for 20 points. Question is as follows. Did we use that one already? We did use it already, yes. Yeah, that one's already been chosen. Okay. Um, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25, the big one in that category. Shingles, a viral disease that causes a lot of pain and a terrible rash, can affect different parts of your body. If you have ophthalmic shingles, the rash actually gets into your what? Kettering. Ophthalmic. Mm, ophthalmic is... Uh, your eyes. Your eyes, yes, sir. You pulled it out of the hat, Abner, when it gets into your eyes. Good answer. Go Kettering. Zuperate 25. Zuperate 25. You're 25 points back. Which one? Zuperate 25. Zoo? Zuperate. Zoo for 25 to tie it up. Let's see if you can do it. Zoo for 25 points. What E initial term describes, describes the ability of bats to locate insects? Echolocation. Echolocation. Say it again? Echolocation. Echolocation. Echolocation is correct. Yes, it is. Good. We have a tie score. 2.30, all two questions left. Green things are body systems. The choice is yours, Allison. Green, Green things. Green things for 25. Here it is. Green things for 25. No, we had already used that one. We had used that one. So the last question of the game, last of the physical for 25 is the only one we have not asked. And this will be it. All right, get ready on your buzzers here. If nobody gets this right, we'll go into sudden death. We will ask questions and the first correct answer will win the game. Listen carefully, physical for 25. This V initial term describes the pace of a liquid's flow like that of ketchup coming out of its bottle. Martin Luther King. So it's Verocity. Verocity. Not velocity, no, no. good try. Verocity. What are you saying? Verocity. 
N not veracity, no. Veracity is not the correct answer. Viscos Kettering, the v initial term that describes Viscos viscosity. 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 viscosity, final answer. Say it again. Viscosity. 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 Yes. Answer. yes, indeed. All right, Kettering, I think, has done it with viscosity. We'll double check that score and be back with you in a moment. Don't go away. Well, we haven't had a game like this in a long time. It just testifies the skill of both of these teams. Came down to that last question. This was like watching a show on television, Jeopardy, where it came down to the last question, and it takes nothing away from all these young people here. Uh, that one word, that one word. Our final tally today is Martin Luther King 230. They've got some long faces over there. They should not have long faces. They played a tremendous game. Wonderful, let's have a nice round of applause for that Martin Luther King team. And for Miss Butler, too, also what a great coach. And Kettering, you guys, you came back. You were all over the place. You never gave up, guys. 255 points. You are the third semifinalist. You have earned that today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Allison, tell us who's back there again. I know you can do that so well. So we have our vice principal, Mr. Green, our wonderful principal, Ms. Strother, and our coach, Mr. Henda, and our alternatives are Kalia, Teresa, and Marquia. Wonderful. And adults, I hope you heard the wonderful things she said about each one of you. Yeah, if you don't get straight A's next time, the world is not right. Thank you all for being here. We hope to see you next time for the fourth and final of our qualifying games before we head to this year's semifinals and finals. Until then, I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye, everybody.